welcome to a special NEO live stream broadcast. I'm thrilled to be here in Austin to launch the US brand, the US market. I'm Annie Wekeser, the head of communications for NEO in the US. And over the next 30 minutes, I'll be your host. We're excited to share our vision for autonomous vehicles. I'd like to thank our live and virtual audience for joining us today. If you're watching us from around the world, please feel free to join the conversation on Twitter, hashtag NeoLive. And now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce US CEO of NEO, Padmashri Warrior. Padma? Thank you, Annie, and welcome, everyone. I'm very excited to introduce NEO to our US audience today. We are coming to you live from our amazing NEO space at the South by Southwest Interactive Festival in Austin, Texas. Um, so I joined NEO in late 2015. We used to be called Next TV. We're a global startup with talent that's distributed worldwide, starting with China, UK, Germany, and of course, the United States. In the US, my talented team is headquartered in Silicon Valley in San Jose, California. And I'm thrilled to let all of you know that we are working on autonomous vehicles that we will be launching in the US market in 2020. Although we're a very young company, we've accomplished a lot in a very short period of time. In just a few years that we've been around, we have worked on bringing the best of innovation from the automotive industry and combine that with leading edge technology from the technology industry. And doing this uniquely allowed us to break and set many world records with our products. Right behind me, you will see an amazing product, our supercar that we call the Neo EP9. We introduced the EP9 to the world in November. And this car is now the fastest electric car in the world. Just recently, this particular car set another world record. It drove itself around the circuit of the Americas track right here in Austin. Not only did it drive itself, it reached a peak speed of 160 miles per hour with no driver. We have a short video that captures this unprecedented achievement from Neo. Let's watch the video. as a company started in 2014 with the idea that we wanted to build a global startup, tapping into the talent distributed around the world to change the experiences we all have with vehicles. We embarked on a project to upgrade an existing supercar to incorporate additional technology elements that would allow it to drive without a driver behind the wheel. Obviously, the EP9 is an extremely sophisticated vehicle to begin with, so we were able to tap into a lot of that technology and augment it with high-precision inertia measurement units, GPS antennas, and additional compute power so that it could replay with extremely high precision a track at high speeds. While I drive the reference lab, the car is learning everything that I'm doing. We try to find the track limits with GPS, and so we go out and map what we know is the inside edge of the track and the outside edge of the track, and we have those as visual cues in our data. And then what we do is we go out and drive a lap so the car can actually learn and see where the human would drive the car. And from that data, try to as best match what I'm doing with the actual car's position. speed, very capable car. It's an amazing car, it's a beast, if I may say, and there were many associated challenges with making sure that it's able to follow the track 
that we wanted to follow. When you calculate commands every 2.5 milliseconds, you have to make sure from one calculation to the next, the transition is really smooth and we don't provide very aggressive maneuvers at very high speeds. We were trying to push the limits of the vehicle and trying to push the limits of our software and we found those limits and as part of that we went into an oversteer condition and the oversteer condition just caused us to spin out. We buckled down, we pulled the car in, we found replacement parts, we had people fly in with spare parts and we got the car out the next afternoon. seen today is three engineers and the team that they're working with going sleepless for four months, pushing themselves and pushing the technology and the vehicle to its limits. Sure that took your breath away. It did mine. Um, what I'm most proud of is the fact that the team came together, our worldwide team from all around the world worked on this project. And by the way, this is the same team dedicated to change your mobility experiences in the future. Uh, to tell you more about how we worked on this product, I would love to introduce to you Rashad Youssef. Rashad is our software product management lead at Neo US. Rashad, join me. Take it away. Thank you, Padma. How amazing that was indeed. Hello, everyone. It was just November, as Padma mentioned, when we announced the NEO EP9, and immediately it conquered world records and became the fastest electric car. And we didn't stop there. We set our si sights on a new goal. We wanted to make it the world's fastest autonomous vehicle. It took three engineers in a very short period of time, in just four months, the team wrote the code and tuned the algorithms on a test car in California, went to the UK and tested for five weeks in extreme weather conditions until the vehicle was ready, and then came to Austin, Texas, Cota, Circuit of the Americas, where it completed a lap in two minutes, 40.33 seconds, achieving a maximum speed of 160 miles per hour, setting a new world record for the fastest autonomous vehicle. We're very proud of that achievement, but we went even further. One of our own engineers, Aaron Bailey, completed a lap in two minutes, 11.3 seconds, setting a new record for a production vehicle on that track, reaching a maximum speed of 170 miles per hour. These achievements allowed us to prove that autonomy and performance can coexist. And that is exactly what we're bringing back to California to work on our products. Thanks, Rashad. 
Thanks, Rashad. So one of the questions that I've been asked is, is this the technology that you will um, see, or is there similar technology in the production car? Sure. Um, the actual technology that we used in the EP9 does not translate directly to the products that we're going to build for our consumers. But certainly, the lessons learned and the hard work put into it not only build our confidence that we're going on the right track to build the right product, but also directly apply to the technology choices that we'll make for our consumer products. Makes sense. Remarkable. Well, we'll now take two minutes to move to the next room to hear from Padmashri Warrior again, um, a little bit more on our US vision for autonomy and to unveil the car of the future. Please stay with us. Uh, I am here now standing in the Neo Vision Room, where we will talk to you about our vision for the car of the future, specifically about our vision for the autonomous cars of the future. To us, autonomous vehicles and autonomous cars go way beyond the technology. As exciting as the technology is, to us, the vision is really around people. And we are focused as a company in making life better for billions of people around the world. The power with autonomous vehicles is that it really democratizes mobility and provides access to mobility for people who are unable to drive or have restricted ability in, in their uh, needs to drive around. So autonomous vehicles really are, our vision is to create the capability where they give people their time back. We will be able to bring this technology so that you get your time back to be everything you want to be, productive, playful, and peaceful. We have a short video that captures our vision for the car of the future. Let's now watch that. In the future, my car is going to be like a spaceship. A spaceship with wheels. It'll have special powers. If I called, it would come and get me. With just a wave of my hand, the door will open, just like magic. It'll recognize me. It knows how I feel, what I'm thinking. And it will drive all by itself. It's just like home. It's just like my living room. I can feel safe and cozy. My mommy and daddy can sit together, talk to their friends thousand miles away while I can sit in the front all by myself I can discover the whole world go on adventures when I get tired there will be a seat so comfy it feels like a cloud can see all the stars. There's the lion. While I'm asleep, my car would watch out for people in the street. It'll speak to other cars in a secret language. And it's going to look so cool. Like, it's from the future. One day, it will be real, and I'll call it Eve. Great. 
Now I would like to have a few of my colleagues that are here from our global team to join me. I would like to first invite uh, William Lee. William is the founder of NEO. Uh, William, if you would please join me. I would also like to invite uh, Li Hong. Li Hong leads our team in China. Li Hong, welcome. And uh, last but not least, the creative genius behind Eve and all of our products, Chris Thomason. <laughs> Chris is uh, the head of our worldwide design organization headquartered in Munich. Now we are ready for the moment that Let's you go. have all been waiting for and we have been waiting for. We will do a big reveal and show you our vision for the car of the future. You guys ready? Yes. Let's do it. Three, two, two one. one. Live. Yeah. So the, the Neo Eve has been designed from the inside out for autonomy. The interior adapts to your needs and your moods, be it to relax, to connect, or simply to, to discover the world outside. The heart, the soul, and the brains of the car are embodied here in Nomi. Nomi is your digital companion, enabled through artificial intelligence. Here's a short video that explores Nomi and some of the blue sky thinking that went into Eve. Take a look. So I'm sure all of you want one of Eve's right now. Uh, so stay tuned. As I said before, we are working hard to put your nameplate on a car that looks uh, almost like this. Uh, we'll be bringing this into the market by 2020. We're working with many industry leaders uh, and in embodying a lot of these uh, innovation into reality. We're working with industry leaders such as Mobileye, um, who was here with us today, uh, NVIDIA, and NXP. So stay tuned, and uh, we will be working very hard to bring a beautiful product that is intuitive, that is your companion, that is your living space, 
that keeps you safe wherever you want to go and fulfills all of your mobility needs for the future. Thank you very much. I'm now happy to take a few questions from our online audience. And those of you in the room, we will spend a few minutes with you afterwards. And I'm happy to take questions from all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Padma. Um, so a question online in regards to the level of autonomy that your US vehicle will have. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? And the follow-up is, will it have steering wheels and pedals? Yeah, it's a great question. So as, as most of you know, there's uh, different levels in autonomy. Today, most of the industry is at level 2, 2.5. Uh, our goal is to bring what we call level 4 autonomy into production in 2020. Uh, by level 4 autonomy, what we mean is the car will be completely capable of driving itself in uh, constrained environments. You know, initially, we're targeting our use cases to solve the problem of commute that all of us here face around the world, actually. And we're targeting our vehicle to really be optimized to solve that commute use case. Um, and then your second question was, will it have steering and pedals? And so, yes, we think it's important to help us as consumers make this transition. Uh, we've, been, we've all been taught to drive the cars with wheels and, and uh, have braking systems. So we'll continue to deploy our autonomous vehicles where you can drive a beautiful car like this. If I had an Eve, I would want to drive it once in a while. Um, and so, but as you saw in the video, we are working on technologies where the steering and pedals will retract when it's in full autonomy. Okay, great. So the next question um, is in regards to the price of the US vehicle. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so obviously we'll announce the price as we get closer to the launch, but uh, directionally we are targeting a premium market for this vehicle. Okay, great. Um, we probably have time for one more question, um, and that is, uh, well, I'm sure people want to know if they can, they can buy one of these, but when will the, the full vision of EVE come to life? So the EVE is a vision car. As uh, Chris pointed out, it, it does reflect and embodies a lot of the blue sky thinking. Um, having said that, the engineering team in uh, California and Silicon Valley, working with our partner teams across the world, uh, we are inventing a lot of things that have to be redone. You know, I think uh, in my language, I call this car 3.0. Uh, it's the industry's new version of what the car of the future is going to be. And if you think of the car as a robot on wheels or a computer on wheels, a lot of the architecture needs to be redone. Um, so that part we are working on as we speak. Uh, so I would say many of these things that you see in this car today, we hope to pre put it into our product. Fantastic. Thanks. I want one. <laughs> um, so that actually concludes our broadcast session. For those of you that are in the room, please stick around. We'd love to answer your questions. If you're interested in finding out more about NEO, please visit us at neo.io. Thanks for joining us.